by King Gluppy III and his mole folks at home, our friends leaped into a nearby elevator, only to discover a remarkable thing. This elevator only goes down. Yeah, isn't that remarkable? So down they went, pursued by the mole men. Down, down, down. Then suddenly the elevator crashed into an enormous spring at the bottom of the shaft. <laughs> and immediately shot up with the Oh, podunk, frip, frap, and other expressions of regal displeasure. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, what happened, Hoppity? Didn't you hear that big sprung, Fillmore? I thought that was me. No, that was a big spring at the bottom of the elevator shaft. Then you mean... Yep, that spring sprang us back with a sprung. Uh, you're putting me on, right? Nope, I'm putting you off right now. And Hoppity break the elevator car to a stop on one of the upper levels of Mole City. Come, oh, Merm God, let us not stay upon the order of our going. Yeah, even better, let's get out of here. The boys dash down the underground tunnel, but suddenly... <laughs> Hold it, that sounds like somebody crying. They're crying out loud, too. <laughs> Somebody's in trouble. Yes, it's us. No, wait, it's coming from in here. <laughs> Say, isn't that the mole man who captured us in the first place? It sure is. Hey, Gobo! Is, is, is that you, Earth people? Yeah, what happened to you? King Gubby got mad at me because you fellas got loose. He put me to work on this rock pile. Making little ones out of big ones, eh? Gee, we're sorry. That looks like hard work. It is. I've never seen such hard rocks. Yeah, how could you? You won't open your eyes. True. They must be on this level somewhere. To hurry up. It's the king and them fellas with the spears. Well, it's been nice chatting with you, Gobo, but I'm afraid we can't... Uncle Walla, we can't leave Gobo like this. Uh, we can't? Uh, we could try. But it's our fault he's in trouble. Oh, very well. Oh, Rick, grab the ball and chain. They're right, Professor. Well, Fillmore lifted the heavy ball and chain, and the happy mole man dashed out with our friend. Not this way. They've got this end of the tunnel blocked. Yeah, they got this end blocked, too. Well, this is it. I want to say it's been swell working with you fellas. But just a minute. You forget I'm a bow people. So you're going to cop out on us, are you? No. I'm going to dig out instead. And Gobo did just that. He dug right through the side of the passageway, and with our friends close behind him, tunneled onward and upward, ahead of their pursuers, until they reached the surface of the ground and broke through. Ooh. Ooh. What are you stopping for? Ooh. The, the, the sunshine. Even with my eyes closed, it's too bright. Well, here, quick. Put on these dark glasses. Ooh. That's better. A small they can't stand bright lights. It was true. For when King Glubby reached the surface after them... Oh, it's too bright. Too bright. Turn it off. Excuse me. Back. Back. Go back. And the mole folks fell back in confusion. They're in a hole, too. Yes, a hole which they quickly filled from the bottom up. Well, fellas, I guess we're safe. A good guess. They were. What's more, in a few days, they even persuaded Gobo to open his eyes. Well, one of them anyway. And he liked what he saw. My goodness. Everybody is in living color. Beats the rock pile, eh, Gobo? Oh, yes. They were terribly hard. What kind of rocks were they? Well, I think you Earth people refer to them as diamonds. Diamonds? You mean that I ran away from a room full of diamonds? I? I? Ay, 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 Then your phony diamond mind was real after all. And so a short time later, a solitary figure was seen digging on a vacant lot. It must be around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, King Globby, where are you? There's nobody feels more foolish than a fooler who gets fooled. Yeah, isn't that the living end? <laughs> <laughs>